Good morning, everybody. Well, it's that time of year again. Depending on who you are, what role you play around here, what kind of a morning you've had, and maybe even just your general disposition, that phrase probably evokes different emotions for each one of us. I know for me, when I think about this time of year, I think about change, positive, exciting change, difficult, even disappointing change, and most often change that's kind of a mishmash of all of those things put together. We're in this crazy place of wrapping up a wonderful school year and pushing hard to do that well, while at the same time thinking about and looking forward to and laying the foundation for another school year to come. So if you're like me and this time of year uh, brings your mind to those sorts of, of challenges, I want to share with you this passage from Psalm 90 this morning. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You return man to dust and say, return, O children of man. For a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it is past, or as a watch in the night. So what in the world does that have to do with change? For me, it's all about perspective. This passage gives me a perspective on change that reminds me just how big our God is. And I don't mean in the sense that he's so big and we're so little. I mean it in the sense of he's so faithful and he has been, he's been a dwelling place for generation after generation. And so here we are this time of year again, here at Two School Way, but guess what? We're the 96th go round of this time of year. And he has been faithful for each and every one of those uh, movements around the sun. You know, whether it was COVID that folks here have been dealing with or maybe something like polio, whether uh, the headlines are filled with Putin or Mao, whether uh, we're dealing with inflation or recession or depression, all of those different challenges have come and gone here at Monta Vista Christian School. And we are part of a rich legacy of educators who have hit crunch time here in this place, all serving the exact same God, the same God that has been a dwelling place for them and for us, uh, the same one that existed before the mountains were brought forth, uh, the one that is from everlasting to everlasting. And so I share that with you this morning as an encouragement. I know that for me, thinking of how big and how faithful our God is and viewing him as a dwelling place, not just for me and for you in this present moment, but for generations and generations uh, through which he has worked and made himself known on this campus. Be encouraged to know that his faithfulness isn't going anywhere. And together with him and in his watch, care, and protection, we too can make it through this time of year um, and do so in a way that honors and glorifies him. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great week.